The Story of Half Chicken, a folktale from Spain and Latin America, illustrated by Avar de Cole. Once upon a time, long ago, a little kind chicken lived a simple life on the farm. Because he flew with only one wing and hopped on just one leg, his friends called him Half Chicken. One day, the farmer's wife said, Half Chicken is so special. If only we had the time to take him to meet the king. Half Chicken overheard this and was very proud. And so one sunny day, hippity hop, hippity hop, he set off for the palace all by himself. Soon, he came upon a campfire that was burned nearly down to embers. Help! Help! cried Fire. My flame is dying out. Fan me quickly so that the meal will be cooked when the campers return. I'll help, said Half Chicken, and with his one wing he flapped and flapped, fanning the flame until it burned brightly once more. Thank you, Half Chicken, said Fire. I won't forget your kindness. You're welcome, said Half Chicken, and he hippity hopped away. Before long, he came to a river tangled with fallen branches. Help, help, cried Water. A storm left these branches in a heap, and they won't let me pass. I'll help, said Half Chicken, and with his one wing, he pushed and pushed, and soon a path opened for Water to flow through again. Thank you, Half Chicken, said Water. I won't forget your kindness. You're welcome, said Half Chicken, and he hippity hopped away. Then he came to a great clearing in the woods where he saw a giant cloud of dust swirling in a circle. Help! Help! cried Wind. I was playing in this clearing, but now I can't find my way out. I'll help, said Half Chicken, and he hopped on his one leg through the thicket and found a path wide enough for the wind to make its way. Thank you, Half Chicken, said the wind. I won't forget your kindness. You're welcome, said Half Chicken, and he hippity hopped away. At last he came to the palace gates. It was market day, and the king's cook was setting off to shop for royal meals. When he spied Half Chicken, he was amazed. Just what I need, he thought. Half a chicken to make a tasty soup for the king. The cook scooped up Half Chicken, tucked him under his arm, and carried him straight to the kitchen. There, Half Chicken watched nervously as Cook lit a fire in the big iron stove. Cook chopped up carrots and onions and threw them into a pot of water. Soon, he popped half chicken in as well, closed the lid, and left. Help! Help! cried half chicken. I don't like it here. This is not why I came to see the king. Fire, water, and wind heard his cries. They came quickly. Half chicken, they said, now it's our turn to help you. Fire hid deep and low so that water wouldn't boil. Water splish splash, knocking the lid off the pot and sloshing half chicken out onto the floor. Then wind blew hard enough to carry half chicken out of the palace over the treetops and onto the highest roof in the kingdom. Half chicken looked around and liked where he was so much that he stayed there forever turning each day to greet the wind, and all the people watched him to see which direction the wind was blowing from. In fact, half chicken became so famous that people wanted their own half chickens to perch over barns and houses. Today, weather vanes still point in the wind's direction. Next time you see one, Think of the kindly half-chicken in this story.